in this video this will be another time comparison so i kind of know the quickest route uh, or what handle will give me a quicker result uh, and i'm going to clean both of these windows with two different handles but they're both a 14 inch liquidator so after all these videos that i've done with the time comparisons of either other squeegees or other people's techniques the idea of it is uh well i want to answer the questions i already know the the answers to the questions but i want to reaffirm and just see is it definite or is it a sometimes or a maybe are these ways that i talk about and use every single day um is it of any benefit? Am I working as good as I could be? Or is there ways of improving? And there's always ways to improve things. But uh, compared to everybody, literally, literally everybody else who talk about squeegee manoeuvres, squeegee types of tools, squeegee techniques, squeegee soap solutions, whatever squeegee related uh, information people put out, Everything that I say is completely different and the end results is obviously completely different. It's light and day different. So I've got two channels. One, uh, yeah, they're both 14 inch, they're both liquidators. I think we can assume over all the hundreds or maybe thousands of times that I've proved what a liquidator compared to any other squeegee can do in terms of being efficient and effective that's been answered right is there anybody out there that still wants to disagree but what i want to talk about is the handle we got a pivot handle and we got a stable handle now overall i'm going to do a when the when the handle is ready to be uh, brought out by mormon a new improved angle handle um i'll go in depth of why i think it's best for most window cleaners to learn and practice on a standard handle uh, rather than going for a liquidator. But what I want to do is I want to compare the speed and effectiveness of both. Right, and I've talked about using the standard flat handle. The pressure that you get on turning is more stable than it would be with a pivoted handle. So generally speaking, if I know these windows are really dirty, and these windows are quite dirty i'm going to get a better contact with this uh squeegee positioning because the turn will be different to the turn that i get with here but if this is like a clean sort of maintenance clean what i'm going to get here is better positioning on the turns because this will turn a lot quicker a lot more sharper so what i wanted to do on this time comparison is use one squeegee and then use the other squeegee maybe i'll count how many uh, turns or moves i make but not more importantly i want to time the uh the actual time how long it's going to take so I'll reset the clock so what i'll do is let's say i will let's not time the actual soaping up let's get that all done first let's just time how long it takes to these are dirty so i'm gonna have to do it quite thoroughly with with the washer here let's just time how long it takes i'm going to use exactly the same kind of technique i'm going to start in the middle and come down like this just do it it's just a normal fanning technique but i want to time it and then compare it with a accelerator and see if there is any difference in time that i complete this one compared to that one by using a different handle. So let's start. Now, of course, I'm going to be aiming for zero detail, zero mistake. That's very standard. All right, let's stop. That was 11 seconds. All right, so let's soak this window up. So you won't get that result using any other squeegee. Can you see how stable and thick? It's wet as well. Uh, 
how stable and thick that solution is. Okay, so that rubber was dry when I started. So this rubber will also be completely dry. I'll reset the clock. So that was 11 seconds. Let's put the tool in the right place at the right time. So I'm turning a lot more efficiently with this squeegee. Okay, so what did I get? I actually got 10 seconds. So I knocked off one second on that pane. Now compare both of these tools to any other squeegee, you're gonna be working to get this result on both of these windows, zero detail, zero mistake. It's gonna take you up. To get that same result, you're gonna be working double the speed, at a minimum. Uh, but uh, a lot of window cleaners, especially the window cleaners around where I live, will take four or five times in to get this result Forget about the frames and the seals, just on the glass alone, it will take them two, three, four or more times. So I wanna double check that again, because now this rubber is wet. I'm just gonna double check this test again. So uh, yeah, let's just do one at a time. So let's go back to the um, stiff handle. So the turn isn't as thorough or as quick but the pressure is more stable so you get one benefit with one handle and you get another benefit with another handle so let's start again put the tool in the right place at the right time now that time it was 10 seconds so these windows have now been cleaned so they're a lot cleaner than they were the first time. So I've now matched that time with the accelerator with that standard handle. Right, so reset the clock again. Okay, let's go again. So I'm doing the same technique. It's a completely different feel. Now I've got my thumb over the ring of the squeegee here, so it's not I haven't looked at the time yet. So it's not freely pivoting, it's it's pressured pivoting. Let's look at the time. So this time it was 11. So, so it's give or take. Let's do best out of three. So what happened that on the second time was the stiff handle was quicker. But I find overall, if I wanna get the speed and it's on a maintenance clean, I will get quicker results with a pivoting pressured. I'll put my finger so it doesn't pivot freely, uh, so there's more control. Let's do best out of three. Okay, no, no, hold on. Let's uh, wet the window first. Because we've got to be fair, or as fair as we can possibly be. So that's it, that's done. I'm not going to use two hands with this uh, maneuver, it's just a squeegee action. So that's 10 seconds. All right, let's do one more comparison. Maybe I'm gonna be getting answers that I didn't expect, but the answers compared to any other um, person's information squeegee related, what tool, what technique, because we're not doing anything with technique, we're just keeping the same standard fanning technique. This is light years ahead, because I'm not only being efficient, I'm getting something more important, which is I'm effective first. So, let's start the clock. I'm definitely getting a quicker turn. Right, so that time I've got nine seconds again. So I did again shave off two times out of three, more time shaved off with this pivoting handle than I did with the standard. It's very close. This comparison is like milliseconds, whereas any other comparison, 
um, that other people have done it's tens of seconds different so we're, we're talking milliseconds advantages and it wasn't a perfect scenario but overall the benefit of using a standard handle compared to a pivoting handle and both handles seem to be much flatter than a standard typical handle that you see from any other brand including Mormon um, most of their handles are 30 to 40 degrees so this is the difference with the angles when you've got a standard handle that has no frills on it it's just a standard rigid handle overall it's easiest to control obviously it helps having a better soap solution that most window cleaners tend to use you get more stable control and the turns are slower compared to a pivoting when you've got a pivoting you um, you have to get accustomed to the quicker turns and you get better positioning with let me show you positioning here is less than the position that I'm getting here on this pivoting handle but it's not pivoting lows but it is pivoting so you get a tighter turn but you do lose a bit of accuracy and you have to be really spot on so these windows are very easy to work out on the frames if you've got these frames where you've got the uh, lower laying seals then this will make better contact with the frame because it turns less and you've got more stability because your moving here will change your pivoting action and your pressure points will be changing uh, so overall this is easier to use but i do find that if you're good with using both and you do maintenance cleans you will be getting quicker turns uh, and uh, better positioning with the channel in the right place at the right time on them turns on them fanning turns but when it comes to minimum maneuvers most people will get more benefit from using a rigid handle but overall most people don't do minimum maneuvers they don't have the control they don't have the accuracy and they're lacking many many things and minimum maneuvers are for more advanced types of work anyway so let's just stick to easy bog standard fanning maneuvers um so i think i kind of answered my question that i wanted to answer pivoting tools do act a little bit quicker we're talking milliseconds really uh, but overall if you're doing hundreds of windows a day those milliseconds do add up so hopefully you've enjoyed this information this is this is the sort of information that i wanted to know when i first started window cleaning and of course i've been window cleaning for a good 15 years and no one's ever put this information on youtube this is why i solely stick to window cleaning squeegee related topics because that's the topics that most window cleaners will just not cover 